Tonight, News 6 investigates the breakthrough cancer drug some say is not available to everyone. A Florida woman tells us her doctor requested the pill, but her insurance company denied it. News 6 investigator Adriana Ivashinsky tells us how she is now trying to get results. Well, this woman is quite the fighter, and she is now suing her insurance company to get results for other women who are fighting this disease. Robin Chusid says for months she knew something was wrong with her body. Eventually, I had to ask my uh, gynecologist for a sonogram, and then he discovered you know, the tumor in my uh, ovaries. In May of 2016, she was diagnosed with stage four ovarian cancer, which had already spread to her colon and liver. When I hear stage four, I, I think dead, right? That's what I thought. But she underwent surgery and finished chemotherapy just in time for her son's wedding. She says dancing with him that night was one of the best moments of her life. But she says the anxiety of worrying if the cancer would come back was crippling. Ovarian cancer is known to be especially deadly and relapses are common. So I said, oh my God, I only have, who knows how much time I have left, I'm gonna get it back. Then Robin learned of a new drug called Zajula, approved by the FDA in March of this year for women who have had a relapse or are in remission from ovarian cancer. I felt like my life was gonna be saved. This is gonna prevent it coming back. And then I was denied and, I w and uh, we appealed it and then I was denied again. The cost of the pills? More than $15,000 a month. Robin's doctor wrote to her insurance company, Blue Cross Blue Shield, and in the letter marked urgent, the doctor writes, Robin Chusid has a diagnosis of ovarian cancer and needs treatment with Zajula. In my professional opinion, Zajula is medically necessary. It's like somebody was playing God, saying, sorry, there it is. You know, there's the pill, you can save your life, but you know, we don't want to pay for it yet. A spokesperson for Blue Cross Blue Shield Florida gave us this statement saying, quote, Florida Blue takes any member complaint very seriously, and we are looking into the situation. While we do not comment on matters involving a specific customer, the health and well-being of all our members is of utmost concern. They don't know me, so I'm, a, I'm faceless to them, and every woman out there is faceless. The Chusids filed a lawsuit against Blue Cross Blue Shield, which they're seeking to make a class action suit on behalf of all women insured by the company dealing with ovarian cancer. In the meantime, Zajula's manufacturer has provided Robin with a limited supply of the drug. But she knows it's temporary, and she worries about other women fighting the same battle. If one person lives, that's what matters. And that was Adriana Ivashinsky reporting. We are told Blue Cross Blue Shield typically has a review process for a new drug on the market, and that can take around six months. But News 6 found out that Medicare does cover at least part of the cost for this life-saving medication. There are also several other insurers, including United Healthcare, that cover it as well. For more on this story, just head to clickorlando.com, and you'll find it right there on the homepage.